in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have x minus 4 divided by x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now, in this example, you guys can see again what I talked about. We have exponents, right? But in this case, we have exponents, though, still, again, we're being separated by addition or subtraction. So when we are simplifying our rational expression, the first thing we need to do is factor. See if we can factor. Yes? We always want to see, can we factor anything in the numerator and denominator? So we look at the numerator. Is there anything we could factor in our numerator? No. What force? But again, remember, as I told you, this you cannot, you cannot factor that. Like, you just can't simplify across. Okay? You have to look at them as group terms. I know it's very confusing. A lot of people want to do the same thing. But you cannot, just, you cannot simplify across addition and subtraction. So can we simplify this denominator? Well, to do that, let's go and take a look. Remember, a times c and b. Now, fortunately for you guys, a times c, or a is 1. So our a, 1 times 16, is going to be 16. And then we have negative 8. So remember, this ac method tells us what two numbers multiply to give us positive 16, add to give us negative 8. Negative 4 and negative 4. Which hopefully, if you guys would have, on your homework, you would have noticed that these were was a perfect square trinomial. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now, as you go ahead and write this, you get x minus 4 times x minus 4. Okay? Does everybody follow me with this? Paco, you, yeah. you follow you, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You only write it once. Yeah, I have not done yet. I was waiting for people to catch up. So as we, the main important thing I want everybody to understand is once we come from this, Casey, is we go from here, we factor it to get to this point, x minus 4 times x minus 4. So now we factored it, we understand that x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 divides to 1. So we still have a 1 up top there. Do not get that confused. A lot of people say, oh, it cancel out, and it's no longer there. No, there's still a 1 up top. So there's a 1 up top, and there's an x minus 4 in the denominator. This is, there's only one left. It's x minus 4. That's the only thing left. Uh, this got factored to this. I factored this out to that. Now that I've factored that out, those two divide to 1. So I'm left with the 1 divided by x minus 4. Does that make sense? Because again, remember, x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 is what? What does this divide to? What's 3 divided by 3? 1. x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 is 1. Okay? 